New Helvetia was a private colony of the Swiss merchant Johann August Sutter in Northern California, located about 120 kilometers northeast of present San Francisco. He founded it in 1839 and had to abandon his last territories in 1865. Sutter's life is controversial, but first let's take a look at the history. In 1839, Sutter reached the port of Yerba Buena, today San Francisco, by ship coming from Novo Arkhangelsk, which back then was the capital of Russian America. He had previously run into financial problems in Switzerland and people were looking for him because he was in debt. So that's why he decided to flee to the United States, leaving behind not only his wife but also his five children. After a few years he came to California, which was part of Mexico at that time. Sutter's plan was to establish a settlement somewhat inland in the Sacramento River Valley. He wanted to avoid the coastal areas settled by Hispanic Californians in order to avoid being exposed to their influence. Mexican governor Juan Bautista Alvaro supported Sutter's approach as he already recognized the danger of American immigration from the east and was supportive about the idea to build a buffer zone between the Mexican coastal settlements and the United States of America by allowing a European to settle down in California's Central Valley. So Sutter was allowed to build a settlement because it acted as a buffer zone between Mexican settlements and the US. Sutter said that he was a Catholic and was able to make the Mexican governor believe that he was not pursuing the interests of the British, the Russians or the Americans. The area Sutter had in mind was inhabited by about 300,000 indigenous people who lived in different groups, were mostly separated to each other and even spoke different dialects. Even before Sutter was assigned to the land, he received permission to settle in the Sacramento Valley that same year and began building his colony. New Helvetia was born, but there was no official tie to the Swiss government. Initially, he built a base at the site near the confluence of the American River and the Sacramento River. The next year, Sutter received Mexican citizenship and again a year later, he was officially granted the land. Now he bought the Russian colonies of Fort Ross and Bodega Bay to expand his territory, but his colony suffered from financial problems, lack of labor, lack of skilled craftsmen and crop failures. Sutter tried to recruit more people to live in his colony, as this was a condition for why the Mexican gave him his land. Sutter exerted violence to the indigenous population groups, forced them to work and if they resisted, he set fire to the roundhouses of the Indians, the most important building of the community. There is a reason why it is called the colony of New Helvetia, because violence against the peaceful original inhabitants of these areas was part of everyday life. And yet his colony suffered from lack of workers, crop failures and financial problems, so he was forced to sell and lease parts of his land. But there were other problems as well. During the Mexican-American War of 1846 to 1848, the United States was keen on the West Coast. During the war in 1846, American settlers founded the Republic of California with its capital in Sonoma. But the Republic was annexed by the US later in the same year. New Helvetia with the rest of present California got part of the US. New Helvetia thus collapsed, but as part of the US, the land still belonged to Sutter. In the same year, a gold nugget was found next to Sutter's mill lying freely on the ground, which later is said to have triggered the Californian gold rush. Gold was often found on Sutter's land, but Sutter tried to hide the fact that there was gold on his property. Indigenous people were also not allowed to reveal the secret. However, picking up gold is much more lucrative than working in agriculture, so the fact that gold is present in these regions spread like a wildfire throughout the rest of the United States. The gold rush broke out and like any entrepreneurs in California, he experienced an even worse shortage of labor. Crops could no longer be harvested and the masses of people that came from all over the US to search for gold damaged his buildings and plantations. But there was good news as well, since Sutter's properties experienced a massive increase in value as a result of the gold rush. Especially in the area of today's Sacramento City, prices rose massively so that he could afford to pay off his debt by selling land. However, Sutter was not known as a gifted economist, as he lost a large portion of his remaining fortune due to his extravagance, alcoholism and fraud by employees and business partners. 
After his hog farm in what is now Yuba City was set on fire in 1865, he sold this property as well and left California for good. Nevertheless, Sutter was able to immortalize himself because today's Sutter County is named after him. Since the 1980s, his questionable side as a slaveholder has been portrayed more and more. Sexual abuse of his workforce, alcoholism, forced labor of indigenous people, trafficking of indigenous children, and the fact that he spread lies about himself, for instance, that he was a fellow student of Napoleon at the military school of Thun or that he was a captain of the Royal French Swiss Guard puts him into bad light. He is now seen as a central figure in the prosecution and decimation of California's indigenous population and is seen as partly responsible for the genocide of indigenous society that began with the gold rush. 